and the rabbits and the pheasants and the hares. Or search for a fox and the ferns and the rocks, and I wouldn't give you tuppence for my cares. On a fine sunny morning when the dew is on the grass and the mist lies up upon the hill, I would rumble through the bog just myself and the dog and the pigeon in the river by the mill. The Ballad of John Dixon. There's a story I want for to tell you about a man from Isle Bally Bay. With his pointers and setters, you'll meet him if o'er Monaghan's mountains you stray. And he's not only known in sweet Breffney, but throughout all of Ireland so wide. And there's little he loves any better than when o'er Scotia's wild braes he doth stride. Then, boys, raise your glass to John Dixon and the dogs he has owned and has bred. For there's been many great ones amongst them, both pointers and setters so red. There's a red dog lives on still in legend. In his prime he was top of the heap. He was handled to greatness by Dixon, and together many prizes they'd reap. He ran like a trooper o'er moorland, locating his game tirelessly. Yes, it's Monroe Wag, who has played a big part in the modern red dog's pedigree. Then, boys, raise your glass to John Dixon, and the dogs he has owned and has bred. In a stone a gift was a great one. Slemish sure was a very fine red. You'll have heard of that bitch, Boston Beauty, as fine as ever was bred. Her speed and her nose were quite brilliant, and her fame it did so quickly spread. She was sired by that famed gold shield Boston, and her quality soon it did show. As she quick gained a store of trial awards, her great reputation did grow. Twas not long till she gained her first title, as her talent was viewed and admired. A second she added soon after, of trials she never grew tired. And then, as a champion of Ireland, and of Britain as well, she campaigned. She contested the championship in Wicklow, and a high second place she attained. Bessie Bunter with John was successful. Donegal Lad, his most recent champ. Rena Red was another whose efforts let John's hands on the tro trophies be clamped. In 77 in Galway, she was second to Christie's fine bitch. But the great Moorlock Mary was second next day. Rena Red claimed the prizes so rich. Many field trial clubs do salute him for the years he supported them through. To both Red Setter clubs he's been loyal, has competed and judged for them too. As a judge he is on the A panel. His experience makes him so fair, and in Ireland and Britain he is recognised as the best you can get anywhere. But to him there's one club very special, which he founded and put on its feet. As the main driving force he has run it, making such a success of each meet. Breffney Oriel is the club's title, and its home is the Monaghan Hills. Sure, all of its members most fondly recall days on those moors, full of thrills. Amongst his friends, John has numbered the masters. Like John Nash of Monrood fame, many days spent at trials together, gamesmanship played a part in the same. Yes, Nash had its own style of running, set his course straight and followed his red, which oft met with objections from Dixon the judge, though by pub times all problems had fled. The three musketeers are so well known, from the country of France they did come, they'd a motto which all will remember, one for all and all for one. Now there's three who share that feeling. You could call them the Monaghan Three, for when Dixon meets up with Trainer and Burn, you'll be sure that the crack is mighty. But beyond Ireland's shores, he oft ventures to Scotland to taste her delights. Yes, the land cruiser well knows the journey to Muirkirk's sweet heather-clad heights. And from Mervyn he gets a warm welcome, as his young dogs he trains all day long. With the grouse in abundance, it's easy to do, and with radar, he cannot go wrong. But there's no place in Scotland that's dearer than Amalry deep in Perthshire. Take my word, when he meets with MacGregor, to the bar they do often retire. He was welcomed at first by John Dixon. Yes, his namesake was boss at the time, 
But the welcome was warm to himself and his friends, over all of the moor they could climb. The wee Scottish John has now moved on, to train all his spaniels so keen. And since Colin's in charge now with David, many times back to Perthshire he's been. Still each year he looks forward to going, up to locking his young dogs to run. And the people like Rambo he meets when he's there, only add to his crack and his fun. Now my song, it is now nearly over, as his praises and story I've sung. On the dog world's steep ladder of success, John Dixon has reached the top rung. He has steadfastly followed his own sport, dedicated to having good dogs. And he'll run them for ever and ever you know, or the wild heather hill and snipe bogs. I was hunting where the wild ducks run and the rabbits and the pheasants and the hares Or searching for a fox in the ferns and the rocks and I wouldn't give you tuppence for my cares On a fine sunny morning when the dew is on the grass and the mist lights up upon the hill I would ramble through the bog just myself and the dog and go fishing in the river by the mill And I wish I was hunting where the wild ducks run and the rabbits and the pheasants and the hares Or searching for the fox in the ferns and the rocks and I wouldn't give you tuppence for my cares there are trout in the river, there are salmon there as well, and sometimes along the slippy eels. And the meadows would be ringing with the sweet lark singing, and the people out there working in the fields. And I wish there was something where the wild ducks run, and the rabbits and the pheasants and the hares. Or searching for the fox and the birds and the rocks, and I wouldn't give you tongues for my cares. In the merry month of June, when the wind turned and bloom, and the dust begins to bother half a stand. If you walked a mile or so, and you knew just where to go, you could find the make and in the glen. And I wish I was hunting where the wild ducks run, and the rabbits and the pheasants and the hares. Or searching for the fox and the ferns and the rocks, and I wouldn't give you tongues for my cares. In the month of October, when the weather's turning cold, and the yellow autumn scuffles on the ground. There are bright window lights burning holes in the night, and the fiddle music ringing all around. And I wish I was hunting where the wild ducks run, and the rabbits and the pheasants and the hares. Or searching for the fox and the ferns and the rocks, and I wouldn't give you tongues for my cares. And I wish I was hunting where the wild ducks run, and the rabbits and the pheasants and the hares. Or searching for the fox and the ferns and the rocks, and I wouldn't give you tongues for my cares.